So this is a cute little book, which has gotten very fat, uh, that I made. It's one of the books that I teach in my year of gelatin printing class. Uh, so you can see the gelatin printed covers. And then I put my 100 day project in here. It's not completely done, but it is uh, a, a big chunk of the days in here. Uh, I did not do this in order, FYI. So you'll see that the pages are Again, not in the order that I did them. I like to jump around in a book when I work. I'm not a big fan of just going one page after another page. So I experimented with a lot of different styles and ideas, sort of playing around. Everything in my 100-day project is themed around the idea of botanical or floral. Um, but of course, botanical applies to a lot more than just flowers. It's leaves, it's trees, it's grass, it's all that kind of stuff. So I tried to use a lot of things that I'm very comfortable with, along with some new things that I'm not so comfortable with. I tried abstract, realistic. Um, I tried more of a sketchbook format. I tried things that were um, felt very safe, things that felt very uncomfortable. There are lots of fun um, visual treats in here of all kinds. This size was a great size I have discovered for working. It's very accomplishable in a short period of time, especially using my art parts formula. I am teaching a live online class about how I make a ton of work really quickly because, again, I'm making a page every single day in here, and I have a baby, and I'm busy and all that kind of stuff, and it's really not hard if you understand the art parts theory, so you can check that out. If you want to learn how I made this book itself, the book structure, that's in my year of gelatin printing class. What I think is really interesting is somewhere sort of in the middle of this book, not physically the middle because I jumped around in it, I discovered a style that really worked for me, a kind of interesting abstract, almost um, quilted, I would say, style where things started to um, come together. But one of the things I like about not working in the order that I created stuff is that you get a mixture of different styles and different ideas. And then as this book becomes a resource now that it's finished and a place for me to look back and think about things I'd like to try, it's not sort of stuck in a rut. I can flip the pages and come to all kinds of ideas that are repeating back from earlier ideas or things that are, you know, circling around. It's just a really fun way to work. But here you go. You can see I tried to experiment with colors and shapes and style, but this is one fat book. I'm not surprised that it's alligatoring out, but one of the nice things about this book form is you can see you get a little extra space in here with the way that the binding's done. So that's it. That's just a portion of my 100-day project. I'm excited to keep working on the rest. Mm -hmm.